Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna call the meeting to order. Um, I need to remind everybody that while this may not be uh, being broadcast live, it is being recorded for uh, broadcast uh, later in the month. Um, there's pickups. If you're gonna uh, make a presentation up here, please speak into the microphone. Um, also, we only have three board members tonight. Uh, that's all we're getting. Fortunately, we are not like the uh, uh, planning board that has to have a minimum of three yeses uh, in order to pass something. We will we can pass something with a simple majority. So we're good to go with the, with the three people that we have. We'll call the uh, first um, okay. the first uh, application. Uh, ARB 1613, 53 Hudson Avenue, a, a fence. Uh, Mr. John, I believe, is in the audience. I don't have Do you want to talk to the drawing? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty straightforward. We have a, a lot that uh, we need to speak on. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Just near it. You know, okay. And cold. you can point to this. Sure. Sure. Um, we have a lot. This is Hudson, Hudson Avenue. We have a lot back here is um, uh, swamp and uh, deer come through our property all the time. Um, so we're looking to just put up a fence to keep the deer out. Uh, that's the that's the black deer fence. That's on correct. One of the pages. Correct. Um, the where it's shaded yellow that will be um, cedar. Um, so the miser and the um, than the actual fence. The fence is in the back of the property. Six months of the year, it's not really visible from Hudson Avenue um, when the foliage is out. Um, I think that's everything that I know. Um, and the height of the fence, it's, it's how high? I believe, believe it's six feet. It's below the... Uh -huh. the, the document, the paperwork says seven feet. Okay. In order to be a deer fence, you need to be at least seven feet. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. But the paperwork does, if you look at the yep, yep, yep. following documents, I know he's been in contact with the bill, with the building department, had comments and back and forth. The actual, uh, deer fence on the previous page, uh, is very similar to what was approved for, uh, Lewis Road, um, except it's seven eight feet. So it's, yeah. it, so it's, so it doesn't. Which part of the piece of this is just not the piece? I don't think it says this is seven eight feet. Doesn't say here. Yeah. 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 And that's subject to, I'll put in the minutes that the stockade cedar fence is six feet high. Okay. Okay. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Either wait, wait a couple of days, the building department get a hold of you, or if you call them tomorrow, they'll have an idea of when they can come pick up the permit. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to ARB 16-15, 
23 Willow Street. We've asked for a post. The, the uh, applicant has asked for a postponement uh, at noon today. A, the architect, Karen and Gordon uh, Parker Heifetz from DPH Designs, asked for uh, a postponement um, until the next session. So we will take this up at the uh, next day of the meeting. So we go to ARB 16-16, 2 South Broadway, Rosas Corp, a new sign. Anybody in the audience for that? Nope. Okay, we will put that off until later in the, in the uh, meeting. We'll call it again. At this point, we're ready to uh, to hear uh, ARB 16-17, 100 North Mountain Road, exterior elevation changes, Arts and Country Club. was the current entrance is? It, it's right here. And that's the wall. <clears throat> that's the wall, right? Yes. So just so I understand, is in behind the wall is where that entrance is. I've never gone through this entrance since yeah, always cave like golf. Yeah. <laughs> So along the, the east elevation, uh, there's modification simply to this uh, entry wall. This is the extent of where the, the clubhouse had its most significant damage. This area is being rebuilt. Uh, this archway uh, leads back into the kitchen and staff facilities. This archway here leads into the clubhouse itself. Uh, the brick the building has multiple types of brick on it. 
and our intention is to go back to the original brick that's here. And we've uh, done a fair, fairly extensive uh, research on the brick, and I'll submit to you just a, a sampling. You see the original brick, and this is the mock-up that we had done. Uh, I think it matches pretty well. What's the name of the bond? It's just a, it's a Flemish bond, on the right hand side. Flemish bond. Flemish bond. I know. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's the extent of the uh, renovations to the east. Looking to the west, um, the most significant portion of the uh, renovation is the removal of the existing uh, canopy which is their terrace, and which we're going to enclose that. I think you have some photographs there that do show um, photographs looking up at the awning, and, and uh, it's on this southwest elevation. Uh, this area is all being restored from the fire damage, uh, and we are making small... Uh, the door that's in the center of that, before you put that up, no, down below. That that was that's existing. No, that's new. That photo was new. Yeah, this whole section <clears throat> of the building has been substantially destroyed, so that is new. Um, part of our renovation is that we are adding um, many code upgrades. The entire building is going to be fire sprinkled, which it wasn't before. We're providing new egress stairways, elevator. elevator. Um, so these necessary code improvements. Uh, Notice that section of the building was, was built out as well. Your point? Yeah. This exists. This section is new. Um, if you look at, um, I can show you again in the photographs. Are you in the rendering? Yeah. Well, you'll see the existing section. Uh, in that. section here. And where's that elevation? The elevation is it appeared to me when on your comparison sheet at the back that that building was actually being built out this way a little bit. That that area that section of the building that could be wrong. This portion here, there there is going to be a, a terrace extension. So the building itself is not coming out, but the terrace is being put out. And I can show you that. I was going to show you on plan. But this is that elevation now. So that open stairwell, uh, and as shown yeah. in the photograph, one of the other uh, main purposes is for illuminating steps. Uh, and there was awkward steps to get up. And then once in the clubhouse, you came back down. So we're able to get accessibility all on one level right here through this corridor. What was the, um, the, the columns were part of the original house that are, that are being taken out? These are being? No. That was all a 1989 edition. That was no. And they're actually in, in pretty poor disrepair. So this is kind of the interior as you enter into this corridor, which leads along the, uh, the north side. Just to reference uh, in plan. Uh, <clears throat> this all exists, and the terrace is here. The little bump out is here, and that's just an outdoor terrace. This is the section that we we're just talking about here that's being uh, added on. That it, one entrance is being removed. We're also adding some necessary toilet facilities as well. So, the, are the windows? Bring that back then. Are the windows being changed in that area? Because the, these are all new. Yes. And they're and not, they're we're doing our stuff. For the, um, there's a lot of us, the steel single glazed windows, the ones that were destroyed in the fire were restoring. And then these are, will be all new insulated. Do you have a cut of those uh, windows? I do not. Okay. Um, I see that these, the windows on this side had arches on them. Mm -hmm. That's what's my question too. 
And here you can see that the arches were filled in when they did the 1980 renovation. Is there any chance you could have those opened up? Um, they actually weren't. That was, they were just blocked. It was just brick relief. Because uh, the ceiling height is actually low in that room that exists now. So. Uh, I can't see from here. Is that remaining in the brickwork or are you taking that brickwork down? When you do. That remains. That remains because yes. is it in your drawing? I don't. It's not it right there. It's here. Yeah. Yes. Is it on the drawing? I just can't see. Uh, it is not. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, why don't you talk about the addition, um, the height of the addition, where the current floor is, if you're picking it up, or anything like that, the ballroom. Or large. Um, this this area here, the main dining mm -hmm. terrace, which we're enclosing, the floor is coming up just a few inches. It's cr it was currently a patio, mm -hmm. and it's sloped, so we're actually leveling that uh, mm -hmm. and raising it up so that it will be. Uh, so what's the dotted line that's running underneath it? Because that's the yes. no no um, the horizontal line. It's got a it's got a elevation mark on it. Um, this building, as you can see, has multiple levels. Multiple levels. So um, that's the level of the grill room. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference in levels between the grill room on the north side and the main dining on the south. <laughs> um, can you... I know that this 3D image doesn't show up, but you're going to have the um, you're going to match the window. Are you matching the window, or are you? Can you go back, go back and start uh, going on that, on that run right there. You'll just drop that, that, that this height. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that I saw is your windows on the far left. Yeah. Are, are these are doors? Are those are doors? Yes. These are doors. And it's not in the same plane as the arched windows, is it? Right? It that's, comes out. that's what my eye caught is the fact that everything else on that plane is arched, uh, arched up. These all exist now. Yeah. yeah. This was again all the way around. Part of this, yeah. this is part of the um, 1989 edition that was done. Um, so talk a little bit. The parapet is making seems to be making a much bigger jump. I'm, it just might be my perception than the um, current parapet that's in the middle portion. There, there essentially is uh, no real parapet here at all. It's pretty low. So we're coming up with a, a parapet here. Um, and that's to get what height ceiling inside the uh, twelve feet, twelve feet, or just thereabouts. 6, 12, 11, 9, what, I, I'm more sorry. than 12 feet or just 12 feet. 12 feet. Yeah. So my sense of that addition, which is the matching it is a good idea. The arches, I, I would hope they've matched, uh, just like you're spending the time to um, match the brick, that you would match the arches that are there. And that is the intention. Yeah. It's not, it's hard, it was hard for me to tell from the drawings. And then the idea of the piers, can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, which piers are you? Uh, the brick piers that are here. Yeah, and running up the face of the building because that's not in the language of the um, clubhouse at all. Well, there's a lot of brick here, uh, so we were trying to break up this this surface by having these um, brick pilasters, so to speak. Uh, they're probably more emphasized in the drawing to <coughs> than. Uh, what you may see in a rendering or in reality. But could you uh, share the rendering? Sure. This is a, obviously three dimensional. It's a Revit model that we're using. A Google Revit. Yes. It's in our construction drawings. Um, is there any uh, access to the roof? Access to the roof? Either Not one, or the, either one? Yes, there is. Okay, here's um, 
just to ask, is a 42 inch high power pit or? Yes. Did you said it, you said it was low, I'm just following up on that. Well, the, the existing one is low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the stone on the um, new wall going around? It'll be a field stone. We'll find it to try to match what they currently have there. I encourage you not to match what's there. Well, it's hodgepodge, but I know. Maybe you take it down. And right now, the, this is the all. This is not. You're not landing it on the existing, right? You're rebuilt. You're, this is all new. Correct. So the night the the wall that's there was also an addition, probably done in the 50s or 60s or something. Mm -hmm. So it's not in keeping with this very elegant um, craftsman style house, the uh, mansion that is the clubhouse. And what I would hope is that it's that that, that the stone be more in keeping with that. And then I'll say the other comment I had is that dormer seems a little convoluted between, because I know you're trying to follow the, the dormitory form. You have the dormitory and then the low pitch roof. Referring to this one? Yeah. A low pitch roof in between. Why not make it two dorms that's been filled in by a, a stretch of glass that's continuous instead of two windows? So that you have the appearance of those nice dorm dormers that are throughout the rest of the roof. It just seems, it's um, clunky. Well, oh, that's office and staff, and yep. just needed the headroom up there because um, it's actually very, very tight, and congested now. We are matching the existing additional. I, I'm, I think I'm okay with the idea of a of a dormer. I just think formally, you've been very careful about individual forms, like the the um, peaked roofs as you've gone on your gone around the building. And you built up this language, the flat roof, and these things. That piece just seems like two, three things pushed together. So the other dormers are very simple. Um, looking at both the photographs and the um, shape, it's, it's <clears throat> clean. Um, and it's in some way, by the way, the other dormers have a, a, a I forget what it's called when they slice it back in the front. Yep. It's not quite a hip. It's um, uh, this, this yeah, cut. this cut that you could match in some way. Match that on the top of the dormer. Sort of follow that kind of thinking. But we need the actual area. Oh, so I'm, I'm all I'm doing is changing the writ, the writ, the roof line, not the um, uh, eave line. So, so you suggesting the shed all the way across? Eve, it? No, no. Um, so you see how they're cut off? Carry this up and then carry it over and then carry it down. Or carry do ju just what you're doing, but instead of having punched windows here, make this a continuous window. And that way, you'll have dorm, dorm, and a continuous window in the middle. Sort of the way you have these gangs of windows here, like that. And even though it's not the most special room, I would say that if you can figure out a way to make these look more like those, I think that would help you. Um, and then we talked about this. I still, I think this is just. Uh, you're, are you trying to carry a particular line here? Because it doesn't line up with. Obviously, it doesn't line up with that. It doesn't line up with this. This. We were also trying to pick up there. You go. Those are the pierce. Yeah. So that's that was so, the purpose of this. So why did you do that? Why don't you, instead of having these come all the way up, which just gives it a sort of sense of much bigger height than it has, just stop them here and have the piers look like piers instead of going up over the top, just like that. And that way, you're, the wet way, the form of this, right, will, one, that wall will be lower, especially if you make maybe that a little bit bigger, but you'll draw, you'll draw your eye to another line, which is the line of these that are running around that are quite nice. Because that's what you're doing there, right? No, you're not. You're not even capping them. No, yeah, they come up to the top of the parapet. Do they step? No, they don't step there. Yeah. I, I think you, you're it's such a great building, just uh, in keeping with that. Um, I do want to say I haven't had a long time to look at this. I got it today. <clears throat> we didn't have this information when we, um, yeah, when we uh, received it. I think they call my eye to talk about it. I guess it's the, um, the elevator. Yeah. You're, you're proposing to 
make that stucco and not brick. Any reason for that? I mean, it's the only, I don't, the only thing that's stuck on is that whole building. Well, it, you're not going to be able to see it from the ground. Not at all. Right. Where's the stucco piece? Right there. Just a little piece here. It's the elevator. The overrun. Mechanical. There we go. It's going to be a, more than likely a dark red of some sort to match the brick. Yeah, I just said, like I said it's just a regular. Because as soon as we try to do brick, then we have to worry about supporting the brick, carrying the brick. There's a cost associated with that. So. Um, in the rendering, this is I'm just there are just inconsistencies in the drawings and the rendering. Are the, these are piers too, right? Effectively, yes. There, um, this this area exists here now. Right. So we're just really doing the piers and the railing. For that. So I'm just curious, just why didn't that continue along here? It's sort of a language that you're and here. So you have a language that goes all the way around. So well, we have a change in materials. This is also a change in plane. Plane. This is out further. That sits back. This is also now, you know, a different material here. Yeah. We're really trying to keep the stonework that was already present there. So consistency. Well, it's not, it's not. You're rebuilding it. It doesn't exist anymore. Correct. But it's been there since the '60s. Uh, no. I think it's been there since the 60s. <laughs> we don't replace them. <laughs> Typically, we do look at all the windows and the cuts for the windows when we go through this. And I think I just I think I have to abstain uh, from voting. Just based on the incomplete information. I was aware that you didn't put the text. We do. Um, if, if you're not comfortable, I, I, I would suggest you return, since there's three of us. Um, I'll state for the record, I'm very familiar with the plans. My husband's a member of the club, and I've actually gone through this and seen the presentation. That's why I have very few questions. But I've had the advantage, and you have, and I've seen this for quite some time now. Um, Rick, do you have any questions? No, I think, it, I, I mean, if we were to vote now, um, wouldn't be, I don't think it would be a, a fair uh, favor of the club for us to vote on it because of, you know, one, one member has uh, the feeling that he doesn't have, you know, the complete information. And, and I think uh, it might be best to, if uh, uh, not that uh, 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 this particular member recuses herself, but it's probably not in the, good, in the best interest of the club to. I mean, I think you should go back in two weeks um, with, you know, the window information. And you know, a, a more complete uh, uh, board member um, contingent to, to hear the case. Yeah, I, I did look into the ethics rules just to be clear, and so I'm, I'm comfortable voting on this. I don't believe there's a conflict or an ethical conflict in particular, but um, since there are only three members and we typically have five, and we do typically receive uh, drawings of the windows, the doors, we, we, we do get more details than we got in these plans. Um, I think it's in your best interest if we don't take a vote, and rather if you return in two weeks with that. But it's up to you. Okay. No, I, I agree. We have them. I just, uh, when we were making yeah, some I, I, yeah. If you didn't know that, I, I apologize. It's, it's a checklist item for us. Okay. For us. Yeah. And in the meantime, if any of the comments resonate tonight that came from Ken in terms of some of the suggestions, that's also an opportunity if you wanted to make any changes I, to the drawings. Let me just say this. You. It would be the opportunities provided so that you can update the drawings and you can show those arches that are being preserved in it, you know, the, in the areas where they didn't show up, and um, consider, uh, show, show us the stone, you know, maybe I'm just looking at the 1950s stone, which is stone-esque, mm -hmm. um, and think about that. Those were the major ones in the piers. That patio was, was built when the club was moved up there in the oh. 70s, so. It's not. Uh, the building dates from the 60s? No. The original building, the building. The house, right. The house dates from 1927. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, Clubhouse used to be down on the river. Yeah, yeah. Then there's been a series of. The casino renovations to it. Yeah. Um, over the years, 34, and then in the 50s. And then when the club acquired it in the 60s, mm -hmm. they did some additions to it as well. I don't have objections against the additions. That's not what we're talking about. I think it's a great enhancement of the club. Okay, thank you. I agree. Okay. 
South Broadway, Rosas Court, no sign. Nobody's in the house. This will be postponed until next meeting as well. Just a couple of uh, meetings. Well, I have a, a letter that I want to read. Um, uh, I received, uh, well, I only received it during the week. Uh, Larry forwarded to me this woman, uh, Charlotte Eisler, from. Um, 101 Station Road. Uh, she says, my name is Charlotte Eisler. I lived at 101 Station Road next to the McCon Stern property and next to the Station Road Tunnel as well as below the foundation of Broadway where the Donor the Donato Project wants to construct 27 condominiums. My family has lived very happily at Ir in Irvington at this location for over 40 years. I have no objection to new buildings and construction as such, but I do have some serious concerns, which, as far as I am aware, have not been at all or only insufficiently investigated prior to allowing this huge project to proceed. I've been following the progress of that project and I've attended uh, virtually all uh, village meetings conducted by the Board of Trustees as well as the Planning and Architectural Boards. Most recently, I attended the Board of Trustees meeting on Monday evening 3-7 and was especially impressed as I have uh, been each time by its probing questions and presentations. I have met the Donaros and find them pleasant and courteous. However, several areas regarding this entire project have not, as I already said, uh, been discussed enough for me to think that it's time to begin construction. I would therefore like to bring that to your attention as chair of the planning board for further review. These are my continued concerns. I'm not the chair of the planning board, actually. So, <laughs> at any rate, uh, one to, to my to, to one, uh, oh, no one to my knowledge has brought up the topic of the traffic jams that will occur morning and evenings on Broadway between Station Road and Hacker Road, intersections of Main Street. When all residents of these condos, not to mention their school aged children, leave home for work and school and return each day. As you know, Broadway becomes a one-lane road halfway up the hill going north and is back during morning and evening rush hours as it is. I really can't imagine how this will once uh, all those new residents live here. I, I can't imagine how this will be once all those new residents live here. Has no one else in to notice this? I haven't heard anyone speak to it. Doesn't it seem that you, uh, doesn't seem to you that 27 condo units of whatever size are too many for this relatively small tract of land and not only for traffic reasons? Number two, I have as yet heard nothing about the environmental impact of this huge building project and surrounding areas, particularly my property, which is located directly below the new, the new project. Although the building's engineer has assured me that there's, there will be no water runoff during rain or melting snow, I am not convinced. Having experienced such a situation some years ago elsewhere, that it is not a distinct, poss that it is not a distinct possibility. Who will investigate this like within definitely and definitively prevent it? Three, concerning the McCon Stern property, I have no objection to having two affordable apartments built in the current building, which I understand will remain more or less intact to preserve its historic character. I wonder, however, uh, and that I wonder, however, and that hasn't been mentioned to my knowledge, what the builder has in mind for this large grassy area in front of the property and between our houses. He hasn't been questioned, and the idea of some noisy, crowded like park construction or similar use worries me greatly. There is, after all, a lovely playground across the street and a large park above that for recreation use. I believe that should some public park like that be built on that large lawn, the pleasant and peaceful and beautiful area of the part of the area would be thoroughly spoiled. Right now, these are my concerns. I address them to you because I have such a sense of your knowledge and concern for preserving your overall character and appearance. I thank you for reading the Bible and would like to stay in touch with you as this project continues to develop. I have not responded to, uh, to this. Um, I will, but only to, to tell her that, you know, all, most of the uh, uh, issues that she brings up will be handled in the DEIS um, and, and other uh, planning board um, issues. So that's just want to make everybody aware. Yeah, and I would add that the, the last time we met, which was not in this room, which was, <coughs> upstairs, was upstairs, yeah. mm -hmm. therefore we weren't recorded, we did ask about the large grassy area mm -hmm. that was going to remain intact, and the response we got was that it would remain as is. Okay. Um, the minutes of, of the 22nd, February 22nd. Uh, well, first of all, the, the, well, let me talk about that first. The, the meeting minutes for the 22nd were approved, uh, but we had we had uh, the other part of it that, that hadn't been approved 
Um, I guess we're still waiting to get that from you. Okay, we'll, we'll approve that as a, as a whole. Um, what I want to do, though, because I took quite a bit of uh, flack from the, the Zoning Board of Appeals, that our minutes were not, um, for that meeting, were not uh, submitted. Uh, we already have a, approval um, based on um, those, the first half of those minutes, so I'm going to have those uh, um, put into the record. I will sign them and put them in, in, in as documents. Uh, but we will wait for the second half, 30, 40 uh, South Broadway minutes. Did, did you get a chance to review the minutes, the, the minutes I sent for the 14th? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gail just brought, found one uh, typo, which I've changed. So uh, can I get a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, motion. So motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay. Right. So the minutes of the, the March 14th minute will be approved as well. Anything? Um, any other old business? New business? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Very good. Thanks. Did you need this? Uh, no, I just put the date down okay. for the, right. the name of the. Uh... Oh, well, I mean, you guys will talk about my. Uh, oh, yeah, my yeah, visit to the uh, CBA. Um, I, I sent actually a. a Deb had asked me about it, so I sent her an email, but I don't think I, I uh, told the, the whole board uh, what went on. Uh, when I was when I visited, uh, the they sent the same guy who uh, came before us, the contractor, <clears throat> an edgy guy, um, sent him to uh, to, to uh, argue the case, and uh, he made his presentation, uh, said that uh, there's no way that you, you'll see it from the road, which I contend it was, you know, you won't see the, and I, and I told the, uh, um, the chairman and the rest of the board that, yeah, you may not see the 10 that are on top, but you'll see the 21 that are on the lower section of the, of the roof. And he says, well, look at the picture. I said, well, you're looking at a roof that has nothing on it. And you can actually see the roof. So when you put something on that, you're going to see it. Needless to say, um, because the, the minutes, uh, I mean, I read the minutes uh, at that, at that uh, meeting, and um, although he wasn't happy, it appeared that he was, he was going to uh, rule uh, uh, against us, against the, the village, the ARB. Um, however, I did bring up to him the fact that on the village website, when it comes to um, um, this, this type of application, there's a five-page document that, uh, in addition to the checklist, there is a, a, a document that's from the Architecture Review Board, I think dated 2007 or 2009. 2009 um, Stating that the the, uh, the fact that the uh, you know we will look at the fact that they're on the front of the house and, and what it does to the character of the of the you know the neighborhood from the, the, their neighbor's perspective. Um, I handed him the five-page document. Uh, them, the chair, uh, and the, the rest of the board, the five-page document. He asked for a uh, a postponement. He wanted to review that. He wanted to see where it came from on on the village website. And uh, at this point, um, they kind of put the brakes on his him making the, or them making a decision. So uh, they said that they would, uh, at the very next uh, meeting, I guess April 26th, uh, no, April, no, yeah, April 26th, they, I think it's the next meeting, they're going to revisit the issue. So I'll be there to, to look at it at, at, in that regard. Um, that's it. That was it. Was, was there, there anything um, in the discussion that we should have collectively put into our Commentary. Is there some other action that we need to move? Forward? I think actually um, the minutes were <coughs> comprehensive enough to, to give them an understanding of you know what we what we looked at and why we looked at it. Uh, in addition to that, um, uh, I read not only the the preamble to that that document from from the ARB in 2009, but I also read there's nine items, uh, different items on that on that document that uh, two of them speak directly to visual. You know, visual uh, and and you know the harmony of the, of the, the neighborhood and what it would do if, if in fact because they were on the front of the house it, it, it upset that that was you know, uh, a reasonable uh, way to look at it for us. Okay, that's that's for the minutes um, incorporated into that language, <clears throat> which is part of our charge. It's pretty clear. Yeah. 
Well, and if you look on, on number I think it's six and seven on the next page, they speak directly to uh, seven and eight. Uh, those are both sections six, seven. No. Yeah, yeah. Because the front of the house may need to be treated differently than the rear. Of the house. I think that's why he he sat back and uh -huh. said, "Let me uh, investigate more." more. Yeah. You know what this is all about. So. Well, we certainly could see it in the Google too. Yeah, right. Yeah. Earth. Yeah, and 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 you know, I said he he was really, you know, he he uh, made a representation that at, at the meeting at our meeting that he said I don't recall this, but he said he he asked me, "Would you not uh, accept?" Under any circumstances, um, uh, solar cells on the front of the house, and he said, "I said, he said, I said, absolutely not." I don't, I don't recall saying that, but because every every you know situation is different, every every uh, application is different. I, I wouldn't make a general comment like that. Anyway, I don't think they. I think we even talked about that. Maybe it wasn't there, but it was the idea on a dormer, a flat, a um, shed roof. You might be able to do it because it's not really visible. You don't see it. All right. So that was the story. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know um, the board asked Marianne to, uh, the trustees asked Marianne to collect a bunch of. To what? To collect a bunch of information uh, looking at um, various municipalities and how they've regulated solar panels specifically to see if there's some language. She's focusing on things that also deal with uh, historic districts and that kind of thing. So she's collected a bunch of information. And also, we reported a collection of stuff from um, uh, Sustainable Westchester. Did you guys get a copy of that? I don't think so. Yeah. It's there how to kind of ease uh, regulatory burdens of uh, solar panels in municipalities. And they I collected a bunch of information from around uh, Westchester, different municipalities. So maybe I should forward that to you? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Even if you just forward it to me, I can get it to everybody. Yeah. It's just, a, it's, we're just in this mode of Marianne's collecting a bunch of information and then it's going to, uh, you know, she shared it with the board, but generally what happens is she probably uh, presents kind of a summary of uh, or she comes forward with a straw man that sort of uh, incorporates what the best features of whatever she's got about. I guess you have to be careful to do that too to make sure you're you know, obviously getting all the best of, of, of what you think is everything, but you may be missing stuff and you do stuff like that. So it has to be uh, going over and reviewed yeah. again. Um, okay. Thank you. Right.